All right, so here we are at Asda Supermarket. We're gonna do how to be vegan at Asda. We've done a few of these so far, but we're gonna go in here, haven't been in here before, and we're gonna check out what they have to be vegan. Got the surgical mask on. Let's roll. Oh no, we're promoting plant-based ingredients. You're not supposed to. If you, want, you can write to Asda, get permission. Yeah. And then obviously we'll allow you to set photos, but... Uh, yeah, we're right. not hurting uh, anyone, no. Right. Uh, no worries. Okay, let's go to another one. Okay, so we got kicked out of the last Asda. You know, we were in there filming. Ended up losing the footage, so we had to go to a smaller Asda here. So I'm gonna go in there and see what they've got. I mean, it probably doesn't have as big a range as it did at the other place, but we're gonna go in and check anyway. All right, so we always start off in the fruits and vegetables section. Berries, get your berries in. Broccoli, potatoes. All the good stuff, it's all around here. Yeah, so the exact opposite of that section is the murder section here. This is where they've got the corpses, the bloody, chopped up, corpses of baby animals. So we obviously wanna, we obviously wanna avoid this uh, stuff here for obvious uh, ethical reasons. So you have to know why you're avoiding the dairy section. You have to know why you're avoiding the eggs. You have to know why you're avoiding the meat section. So you gotta watch films like Land of Hope and Glory and Dominion. You gotta look into the egg industry though. That happy egg lie is just disgusting. I mean, that their mouths are minced up alive and their hens are all slaughtered. All right, so we're in the egg section here. This is the worst brand of eggs ever because they just advertise it as happy eggs, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think the male chicks are happy to be macerated on their first day of life because they don't produce eggs and I don't think the egg laying hens are happy to be enslaved and murdered when their egg production declines so I hate the happy egg co. But over here if we move to the right one step we can get some soya milk. Asda have their own brand here which is pretty good 80p for a litre which is quite cheap. It's actually quite competitive with dairy milk. With the uh, horrible dairy milk. Um, so yeah, go for the Asda brand. They've got also, they've also got coconut milk and oat milk. But this is my favorite one here. This is Oatly. This one here goes in the coffee, makes it all creamy. My favorite milk by far. Another good brand is um, Alpro. So go for the Alpro. They've got good everything. Mad stuff here. Excellent. All right, let's go. So we we always look for little plant-based uh, versions of everything here. They've got their own little plant-based range here, which is good. Some Asda's I've seen have even got amazing plant-based versions in the fridge section. So you can check those out as well. They've got uh, sausages, green cuisine. Oh, meatballs. Linda McCartney's, uh, pizza, sausage rolls. One of my favorite things in the world, oomph. I haven't seen this cheese before, eh? This is applewood, I might try it. Got all the plant milks here, all the plant cheeses, uh, cream cheese spread, all the yogurts here, boom. Alpro is one of my favorite. Alpro vanilla, love this on top of berries, fantastic. They've even got Asda brand. Look, Asda's rolling with us now. Asda's joined the vegan crew with the free from cheese. Mature style as well. What's this one? Is this vegan? Oh, vegetarian. Come on, Asda. This is a little bit naughty if you want some soya whip, vegan friendly. Also, if you want um, some butter, this is good, this one here, dairy-free. But there's a good solid reason why we avoid this, whether it says organic or not. These cows are all um, forcibly impregnated. Check this out. Little cartoon cow there. Little cartoon cow. Yeah, all the cows are forcibly impregnated, have their babies taken away. The males are killed. Red tractor approved, nonsense. All these cows go to the slaughterhouse. All their children go to the slaughterhouse as well. So, not so happy milk. Look how they market this to children. Dairy cows, dairy cows have their kids taken away from them and they market their milk to children that don't even know what goes on in the industry. 
all the dairy cows are all slaughtered, have their families separated. It's a horrible industry. Yeah, so always go into the fruits and vegetables section. Most of your diet should be fruits and vegetables and starches like potatoes and um, squashes and beans. Plenty of beans, get your beans in. Greens, broccolis, beta carotene, carrots, mushrooms, vitamin D. Vitamin D in the mushrooms here. Um, yeah, get into the veggies and the fruits. You go down here and you see these, uh, these birds here. Disgusting overgrown corpse here. These poor birds been put in a bag. Here's a piece of a, a cow. Gas chambered pig. The liver from a lamb, which is a young sheep. Look at this little leg. That could easily be a dog's leg. Easily. But it's a lamb's leg. Cutting the chest off of a chicken to put in a stir fryer. I'd rather some tofu. So one thing with Asda that I've noticed is they've got these um these new plant-based um little options here, plant-based veggie gnocchi, Thai green curry. These are all vegan. Bangin' spaghetti bowl with soya mints, amazing. Go Asda. Asda's my new mates. What's this? Oh no, yeah, that's not vegan. It's got cut up chickens in there. Little sandwich slices, falafel. And uh, this is something that makes uh, vegans go crazy, which is hummus. It's usually always ve uh, vegan. So just dump it all over everything. Dump it on potatoes, dump it on your skin. It's really good for your skin out here. No, it's not, it's just tasty. Vegan friendly uh, mayo, this one here, Hellman's. Pretty delicious, this one. It's uh, quite fattening though, so be careful. This is a vegan dressing too, a little bit lower in fat if you're looking for a fat free one. This is vegan sriracha mayo, so it's spicy mayo. Oh my God. A lot of these sauces are fine, like this one's fine, this blue dragon. Mustard's fine, ketchup's fine. I don't have to tell you about pasta, okay? You might be a new vegan, just eat pasta. It's fantastic. You know, these kits are usually fine as well. Refried beans, amazing. Yeah, like these curry uh, pataks particularly are, are vegan. Not all of them. Why does it say vegetarian on there? It doesn't have anything to do with um, dairy on there, but it says vegetarian, so it's possibly vegan. Just always check the back though, just, just make sure they're suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Or stir fry with noodles. All right, so this is the bean section. This is the, you know, protein rich, carbohydrate rich, fiber rich uh, replacement for flesh. Much better for you. Chickpeas, beans, all types of beans. And uh, like, if you're on a budget, you can just chuck these in the pressure cooker and cook up a bunch of beans. So cheap, this is three quid for this. Lentils are super food. I don't think a superfood exists, but these are really good for you. These, fantastic too, make a curry with them. Curry powder, bit of stock powder, boom. These ones here are vegan too. Little stock cubes. Here's another good one. Vegan bouillon. Here we have a sliced up body of a gas chambered pig. So we don't want that. 86% of pigs in uh, England and Wales are killed in gas chambers, which is horrible. The meat industry is disgusting, gas chambering pigs, cutting off the heads of lambs, you know, slicing the necks of chickens who have lived in horrible conditions most of the time. You know, 70% of all animals in the UK are factory farmed. And when you go over to Australia, it's even higher. And uh, America, I think in America, 99% of all animals over there are factory farms. Little Amy scrambled tofu wrap. These are quick and easy potatoes. Put, cook them up and put some hummus on them. Amazing. Oh, so these are halal. So halal just basically means that they had their throat slashed open without being stunned first. So I don't know, like that there, reading that makes me feel a bit sick. You know, these animals a lot of the time, horrible conditions, being slaughtered and butchered in a slaughterhouse, cut up into pieces and then sold to the unaware consumer. And it's been marketed to you as humane which is just a disgrace. So avoid all those products for an ethical reason. 
find all the plant-based stuff. There's plenty of vegan stuff in the supermarket. All right, so that Asda was a little smaller. It was a little bit of a letdown compared to the Superstore that we went to. The Superstore had a much larger plant-based range. They had like burritos and amazing things in there. It was great. They're doing really good. This is a bit smaller, so there's not much, there's less of a demand for the vegan stuff in the smaller places. But if you go into a shop to, to buy vegan stuff, to, you know, fill up your trolley and your pantry full of vegan stuff, go into the fruit and veg first, get your fruits, get your greens, get your broccoli, get your starches, potatoes, get lots of beans, get lots of rice, get lots of pasta, get lots of sauces. Just give it a quick look on the, on the back of the label, make sure it doesn't have any allergens like dairy or milk. If it says um, on the back may contain traces of milk or eggs or something, that's fine because that just means it's produced in the same factory. As long as it doesn't have it as an uh, eggs and milk as an ingredient, you're okay. So go through, get all your starches, get all your staples, and then you know get some tofu or get go find like a little uh, vegan cheese or something, some you know vegan yogurt or your favorite vegan milk. Get some vegan cereal, some oats or some. Um, you know, Weetabix or whatever your favorite vegan cereal is. There's plenty in there. Just check the back. If it doesn't have honey, check for honey. If it doesn't have dairy, that's fine. You know, there's plenty of uh, cereals that are vegan friendly. Um, also, if you go on their website, if you go actually Google um, Asda vegan products, just Google it up and it comes up with a bunch of um, their vegan friendly products. So a lot of crisps. I don't know if you're into the junk food. A lot of people aren't into the junk food. I, can, I like it as a treat, so check out the, uh, the crisps and they've got like cool little uh, chocolate bars and energy bars, just make sure it's dairy free. Uh, usually 70 to 80% uh, ch chocolate is uh, dairy free as well. They didn't have much ice cream in here, usually there's a bit of Ben and Jerry's, dairy free Ben and Jerry's, there's a little bit of a Halo Top dairy free, there's some sorbet or something, but this one was quite, um, you know, didn't have much in there. So if you come into any supermarket, follow those principles and you should be alright always find the plant-based uh, section and you'll get all the goodies there but if you're on a cheaper sort of budget go fruit and veg go beans uh, go pasta uh, rice those type of staples and yeah happy veganism i'll see you all for the next how to be vegan at thanks for watching